Hi, this video will show you how to do an offer system scan. We will start from the hardware introduction, hardware connection, and software settings. Now let me start from the hardware introduction. This is the generator. This is booster. This is the power adapter. This is a USB cable and spooky pulse with ear clip option, TENS cable and TENS pads. Now let's connect the generator first. We connect the power adapter. Then we connect the USB cable. I use a USB hub. Only generator can be connected to the USB hub. I connect the booster 3 to the generator. We need to twist to lock the booster 3. OK. Then we connect the TENS cable to the high power port. We still need to twist to lock the cable. Then the other side connects the TENS pads. Next is to connect to Spooky Pulse and we use Spooky Pulse Ear Clip option. First, we connect the pulse to the computer and the pulse must be connected to the computer directly or the scan results would be inaccuracy. Then we connect the pulse ear clip Use the other side to clip the ear. If you have ear hole on your ear, you can use finger clip. Okay, now we connect the test pads. They are stick above the right wrist and left ankle like this. After the hardware connection, 
We turn on the generator first. Then launch the software. The software is reading database now. Okay, now let's check the LEDs on the pulse. The green one is stable, and the red one is flashing with your heart rate. Now let's choose a preset to do an off system scan. We go to buy feedback, general, and choose off system scan. Then go to Control tab, take a log generator overrides, and open the generator. Beside the scan, you can check that the estimated time is about one hour. We click scan to start the biofeedback scan. There would be 30 seconds countdown for you to relax. You can check the countdown on the right below the blank pane. You can see the graph is moving and on the left it shows the BPM, HRV, average BPM and average HRV. After the scan is finished, it will come a list of frequencies. They are your scan results and you can save them to run them. Usually we use the killing preset. Okay, thanks for watching this video.